Hi, this is Faye Ellington. Christmas is indeed a special time of the year. Can you imagine a big woman like me get up this morning and wonder if me could have found one starlight? Or a pack of starlight? Oh, no, no, remember starlight? Oh, yes, man. And the adults used to tell us to be careful so that the metal part, when it burned down, when the sparkles finished, that that didn't burn because I could have hurt, you know. But I was thinking of all the things we used to do at Christmas time. You know, you'd have your food ready and you prepare and the fowl that you want to kill for Christmas for your dinner. You fatten that up well, special with coconut and corn and all of that. And that fowl, when you cook it down, it gummy, 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 so till. And then you'd have put your meat over the, the fireside pan, the crank, crank, for it, the smoke to go up and cure it. And so you're ready, man. You have your things ready to go on with your Christmas dinner. And, you know, I used to buy the meat for my mother and my grandmother for two and six a pound. That was the best cut, you know, two and six a pound. So you had your roast beef, you had your chicken, you had your pork, those who eat pork, like certain people I know. And you had curry goat, you had all these wonderful things that are the rice and peas, man, gungo rice and peas. You plant your own gungo, you know, and you reap your gungo lot this year, not so good because the drought was there and then the rain come, you understand? And gungo rice and peas. We have to settle down in the house this time, you know, because with COVID-19, we can't up and down and go everybody yard and make everybody come at your yard. You have to just stay with your small family, you understand, or your close, close neighbor and friends, and you still have to wear your mask, and you still have to keep your distance. Of course, when you're eating, you don't have on the mask, you understand? And make sure, say, so you know, play music too loud, because if you're playing the music too loud, you might have disturbed the neighbor, but also, if you're playing your music in your house too loud, then when people can't hear you talking, they're going to come closer to you, and that's not so good, because them say you have to keep six foot. But the drinks at Christmas time, that means, oh, chocolate, man, a mug of chocolate tea when you come from church, speaking of church, church service used to be early, early, early morning, and you walk when you call and you shiver and you put on your sweater, oh, hmm. early morning business that, you know, you go to service and you sing the carol then. Oh, holy night and heart, the herald angels and wild shepherds watch their socks by night. I wash socks by night. We used to sing when we were speaking. You know? <laughs> anyway, and the chocolate tea, as I mentioned, the eggnog, the sorrel, all of them think they are workmen. And you, you, you get into the Christmas Grand Market now, you go by the crossroads, that is where I come from, Smithville, at the square. Or maybe you go to a town near to you, or your own crossroads, your square, and you get your things, man, for Grand Market. You get your fifi, you get your shibum. You don't know no shibum. That little round something like a little marble, you fling it down, go shaboom. Most of that's why I get the name. And you, you get your Christmas hat and the, all the other nice things. And the adults gather and they talk and they discuss and them share stories. I'm telling you, some people used to have junk on which part they come from, and you hear the music I come and everybody run out of the gate, run out of the yard, I wait to see the junk on the characters come true. Yeah, man, characters like one of Pitchy Patchy, Green, um, um, Houseboat, Horse Head, Devil, oh gosh, the picnic is afraid of devil, so you and the devil make after them, you know, and they run and scream and hide between their mother legs and take the skirt, cover them up. Yes, man, and, and, and then you, you'd have, what else me tell you now, Belly Oman. Yes, you have the pregnant woman named Belly Oman, and I hope you know, you know, all of the John Connor characters used to be played by men. And then you have the music that go to the John Connor band, the, the Fife and the Greater and the, oh man, and you hear them a come and them a scratch the great and the Fife a blow and the drum a beat and the music a sweet, you you understand? So that is part of the Christmas thing that I don't want us to forget at all. Oh, by the way, one of the treats we used to get as children, you know, was the aerated water. Mm-hmm. Because you now get soft drink. We never used to call it soft drink. So I say aerated water. We wasn't getting that during the course of the year. So you'd get either your cream soda or your cola champagne. They had other flavors, so pineapple or whatever. Kelly's soft drinks, them the gays, long before d and And so you would get that. But the family spirit, the community spirit, and the Christmas breeze, and everybody come together, remember this is COVID-19. So although you're going to extend a helping hand and a meal to someone, you have to keep the distance, the six foot. You have to sanitize. Oh, yes, that is very important. And do not bother with no whole heap of gathering. If you have any friend who come from foreign, tell them, do we have beg them? The quarantine. Give themselves enough time for the 14 days. They want to keep themselves safe. And the people them coming to visit, they want them to be safe too. So until next time, have a Merry Christmas. And remember the reason for the season.
Christmas I come me warm me lama. Christmas I come me warm me degede. Christmas I come me warm me lama. You know no it. Not a hat to me head. Not a shot to me back. Not a boot to me. Oh no stay there. Merry Christmas.